Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to week five, day two of the Bleach Bones, $30,000 League of Arenas tournament. I'll make this intro quick. I am EG Azil, and I'm here now with Yips. The picks and the bands just started, and they just started doing them really fast, so we'll just jump right into this. Oh, but, uh, really? Well, yeah. Who's playing? It's uh, Mushroom Company versus uh, USA, 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 and they both just uh, locked in and instantly started doing their picks and their bands. And um, yeah, man, they're they're raring to go. So we got Frost Mage is the first band there from USA, USA, USA. BM Hunter will be the band from Mushroom Company. The picks going to be the Resto Shaman for USA times three, and it's going to be that Affliction Lock for Mushroom Company. And uh, there is some changes worth mentioning. Um, that Mystic has joined USA, USA, USA. He left from Cycling with Love. That was the team he was playing uh, yesterday with Tosan. And Vanya Duratar, who was on Cool Story, has left them, so he doesn't think they're going to make it through, I guess. Um, and he has joined Mushroom Company. So those uh, those two teams did make a player change, and they, they have replaced people on their team. Um, and USA, USA, USA is actually going to ban out uh, Vanya Duratar right there. So, you know, uh, it's kind of a bit of a rematch there today for Mystic and, and Vanya. And, um, you know, Vanya came out on top yesterday. We'll see uh, how they're going to do today. Yeah, I guess they're scared of that uh, Shadow Cleave when they're running with the Rest of Shaman. They saw how you guys kind of fought against it and just look, know how hard it is to actually yeah. play against that when with the Rest of Shaman. So I'll have to see what they pick. I'm not too familiar with Mushroom Company. Um, Mushroom Company is... They haven't played much yet. Yeah, and a team that don't, no one's really too familiar with because they just have not played very many games. Uh, so... I mean, yeah. we're going to find out a lot about them because they are going to play three straight series today and this is going to really determine how they're going to be doing in this tournament because um, they've only played two series so far and they have three points. So that means that they are kind of one win, one loss. Um, oh my god, it's going to be Shadow Play. So uh, okay. no one so usually plays Shadow now. Play, man. So yeah, so they're going to be getting judged. Are you uh, getting judged by you? You're yeah, gonna I'm going to judge. Oh I'm about goodness. to judge the shit out of Mushroom Company. Right. So. Shadow Play versus... Uh, uh, Rest of Shaman Mage. I'm sure how uh, I mean, it can't be a Shadow Priest because Shadow Priest is banned out, so it could be MLS. Uh, if or, uh, is there a Warlock in there? I mean, no. Uh, they could bring out the Ellie. Uh, Ellie Shaman. Yeah, Double Shaman. Frost I actually think Mage. that could be good against Shadow Play. Just lock down a lot of the casts of the yeah. and stuff. Double Shaman is really strong. Yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. I mean, Double yeah. Tremor versus uh, you know, a comp that's very reliant on fear and everything is, is definitely uh, something that, that's not a bad idea whatsoever. Yeah. So this will be pretty interesting. Um, I'm not sure who's playing what shaman because there's three people listed with shaman on their team. I think I it's going to be mystic. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be mystic, and zero the hero would be playing the resto. So yeah, that looks like it's what it probably is. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's interesting matchup. Major League does a lot of bursts, especially in decreases and stuff. But outside of that, the damage isn't that great. But shadow plays good consistent pressure. But um, it's going to be hard because LA shamans are pretty good with like healing stream totem, and so is the resto shaman. So I'll have to see what they can do against it. Yeah. I'm not too sure. I've yeah. never I've never seen Double Shaman really played that much often, to be honest. Yeah, I mean I played I some of it. Passages. I played yeah. some of it with Cedu and stuff and I th and and, and uh, I think it's I think it's pretty strong in some cases. Yeah. It's actually quite good cuz yeah. um they made it a lot better when they made it that uh that lightning shield and earth shield stack. It doesn't actually overwrite yeah, it anymore. Yeah, so still fulminate with their shield on, which yep. is really important. Yeah, exactly. I just see I haven't seen too much of either of these teams honestly. Yeah. Uh, it'd be an interesting matchup. I think both are good, though. Are they the European teams, both? Yeah. It's, uh, well, Mushroom Company is, um, is Russian, uh, I think. Okay. So, maybe they're still European, but yeah. Um, I've never seen this Warlock play either, I don't think. Baron. No, not have I. Um, but yeah, Mushroom Company really has not played much at all, so, uh, it'll, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how, how they're gonna do. Um, you know, I really don't know that yeah. much of, about their their players. You know, it's Killuminati and, and Varent. They're going to be playing yeah. here uh, on that on that shadow play. So, if you were playing shadow play against this, what would you do? Well, I was playing shadow play against this. I would be going for the Ellie and and the resto, and I'd just be trying to interrupt, uh, put all my interrupts into into the mage and mostly, and just being uh, be focusing on on the resto shaman and the Ellie shaman, and I would just be super aggressive. I would probably just try to stand on the resto shaman the whole game and harass him, and um, just make swaps to him every time you get a full fear. Then you probably come down to mana versus. Um, I mean, I think you can kill resto shaman. Uh, I think you can also, you know, kill kill the Ellie with the proper setup as long as you can kind of deny a decurse on the hex. Like if you get a fear um, on the on the resto shaman into a hex with a blanket silence on on the Ellie to deny sham rage and decurse, uh, I think you could get a kill on him. But I don't think it's that the easiest setup in the world or anything like yeah. that. 
two tremor totems is brutal if they do it well. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, it definitely is. But you know, when you see people busting out stuff like this, you're never really sure how much they've actually practiced it. Um, and unless unless they're pretty coordinated, a lot of people are just gonna overlap and stuff. They're just yeah, gonna overlap definitely. every time because they're they're so used to just pressing it. As soon as they get feared, they just press the button. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's and that like, was the insane thing about that enhancement shaman rest of shaman team like swap C and stuff. Mm -hmm. Those guys like never overlapped anything ever. Yeah, yeah I mean they practiced they it a lot. Them. So yeah. Especially because Mystic's a new member on the team, so we'll have to see. But then again, people play with each other all the time. Anyway, yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, some some people play with people that are not on their team more than yeah those who aren't. Um, Zero the hero, and then Mystic. Are you in a group? Uh, yeah, yeah. They already queued. Did they not invite you? Oh no, they didn't invite. Oh shit. Um, let me let me message. Um, oh wait, who's the other person? It was the mage prophet. Are they on Alliance or both teams uh, Alliance? Um, let me check. It is Alliance, yeah. Sorry, League Sonic. Um, Alright, I'll go over. Maybe, maybe I guess we'll just do this first game without you and then we'll get yeah, you for a game too. Okay. Yep. I'll, I'll message her and let her know. All right, cool. So this is gonna be our first best of three of the day, guys. We're gonna be starting off on the Grand Arena as we always do, and it's gonna be Mushroom Company versus USA, USA, USA. Uh, the updated versions of these teams, so should be uh, should be pretty interesting. Um, you know, uh, cool story looked looked good, and I mean, I guess it was, you know it was very low chance that they were still gonna get yeah. through and everything like Especially that. Especially the fact that they dropped their death name. Yeah. Kind of limits them a lot, I think. Yeah, but or lost it, I yeah. I mean, I think personally, I think for future seasons, um, you know, I, I know there. I guess there was not a rule for this for this season, so you know, obviously, you can't change anything like that once yeah. teams have already been allowed to do it. But I, I, I don't think that um, that teams should be able to play on, on multiple. You know, you shouldn't be able to. Wait, is this the rest of the like jump teams, yeah. I don't think. I think you should be locked into one team for the whole season, no matter what. So. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So people aren't jumping to like get yeah. things like qualifying. So. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, otherwise, you know, there there could be some shady stuff going on too. Yeah. You never know. Because I was actually doing a cool and... story today on the on, uh, EUTR thing. Mm. The Rasha Shaman DK Shadow Priest, and they do a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, so what were much. you playing? I was playing FMP. Oh, that's cool. How'd you do? Yeah. We went like three or four one against them. Yeah. We lost one. Yeah. Yeah, it was, so. It too bad. Yeah, they obviously do some some real damage, man. They're not bad at all. Um, all the teams in this league, you can't you can't uh, take them too lightly, or you're gonna end up losing. Um, but but yeah. So anyway, I think that would be a good rule for future seasons. Uh, that's something I'll suggest to them, um, because you know you know you don't want you don't want a situation where anyone's gonna you know just kind of like abandon ship a little early and things like that, because it could screw over teams. So. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure, like, because Cool Story actually could have mathematically qualified, but yeah. now with the DK moving off the team, now it's, like, not even, uh, just yeah. based off bans, it's really going to be really hard for them again. Like, they're going to have to run really crappy comps. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of back to the, the crappy comps again, but at the same time, I guess it gives a better a better chance uh, for Mushroom Company and stuff to qualify, but, you know, that's yeah. got to be annoying for for their group, because, you know, two... Uh, like two teams in the in the other group took players from our group now, so yeah. <laughs> it's making their group harder for the teams that are remaining. But anyway, here we go. We're going to be starting this game off. It's going to be Prof set charging out. Uh, Yips isn't in this game uh, just yet, so I'm not CCing him, guys. Don't worry. Uh, he'll be getting in for the next match. Um, but Prof set going to try to drop that Ring of Frost. It is going to be uh, uh, interrupted right away. Kaluminati looking like he's going to be the target. There's the Hex on to Varant and Moo Homer. Um, really nice job there with the cross CC. And they're going to be going hard on Kaluminati. Kaluminati going have to pull back here behind the pillar. Um, he's get back with a uh, Homer, and he is going to be uh, ta topping him back off. And Varen now popping the Demon Soul, spreading dots on everyone. Oh my God! Look at Zero the Hero. He's down so so low into the Shadow Fury. Followed up by that sound. So great swap onto the Resto Shaman. Almost net them a kill. I mean, they already got the trinket, and I think DP or something must have crit there because he got rocked. But uh, Mu Homer now getting pretty low at the same time. He's over behind the pillar. Uh, he's pushed in very, very far. Mystic getting dangerously low as well. Um, now Mystic down about 20% HP. He's going to have to pop the Shaman Rage. We can see um, 
that Zero the Hero pulling back here, just trying to top everyone back off, and he will be able to do it with his Ascendants, but um, both Shamans on this double Shaman team have already used their Ascendants, so that is going to be down. Um, uh, we do see that Varen going to catch the CS there. Uh, Demon Soul obviously has expired quite some time ago, but he's doing a good job spreading those dots. Going to land the CS on a prof set. Everyone fully dotted up right now. Uh, Zero the Hero just pulling back behind the pillar. It wants to play very safe because he knows he almost got killed on that last silence. And now there's the Shadow Fury coming in. Uh, the silence was out there on Zero the Hero as well. Prof set down to 29% HP. Is going to be able to blink back behind the pillar, but the Shadow Play uh, doing work so far. Have some pretty good pressure, I have to say, and uh, Mystic going to pop forward here. Uh, going to go for the LA Blast. It will land. Not going to crit on Kaluminati, but some Lava Burst uh, going to be flying out there as well. Uh, we do see the CS landing once again there on a Prof set. Prof set going to pull back behind the pillar. Will rebuff. Uh, good job doing that. And he's going to throw out the orb. The orb uh, looking like it's uh, a bit of a whiff, but it is going to be hitting Kaluminati a little bit. Now there's a Deep Freeze coming out on Mu Homer. They may just take him down right here. Uh, Stoneform, Battlemaster, Hellstone all being popped there. Uh, Shadow Fury comes out defensively. He's down about 50% HP. Had to use his uh, didn't have to use his trinket rather. Uh, Prof's not going to be forcing the ice block though. Mystic uh, does use his Sham Rage, so uh, they forced out you know quite a, a bit of defensive cooldowns there on USA, USA, USA. Uh, now Mystic going get, to be getting offensive here once again. He's going on a variant. The Ellie Blast comes out, going for the hex now. He's going to land on Mu Homer. There's a sheep on Kaluminati. It's a three v one on Variant. Variant pulling back, but Zero the Hero is falling behind a bit. Kaluminati going to be hexed. There's a deep freeze on a Variant. Doesn't look like too much damage coming out onto it uh, to be honest though. In Dark Regen, Hellstone was used preemptively on the deep, so. Uh, Varen comes out there on full HP and he is just fine. Uh, the Shadow Play once again has been topped back off. Zero the Hero struggling a little bit. You can see he's you know about half the mana that Mu Homer has. Uh, VT Pain going up there for uh, Kaluminati. Kaluminati uh, looking to try to get a little bit more aggressive. Demon Soul has been popped here by Namex. He's just dotting up the pet right now. Trying to spread the dots around on everyone. Um, and I mean uh, now going to resummon uh, the Observer. He did get killed off back behind the pillar so they are going to push out. Uh, we can see Zero the Hero really low in mana though, 20% right now. Mu Homer just drank. He's at 100% mana pretty much. Uh, we do see that uh, Prophet down dangerously low. He's going to have to block once again. He was split from his team and uh, he had the Temporal Shield, but that was not enough. Zero the Hero going to get MCS there. Uh, Prophet was already top, so you know he is going to be fine, but uh, they're not. They're not looking like they're doing too well right now. Shadow Fear comes out on both the shamans. Uh, not able to land a fear off that, but the hex trying to come out. Double hex uh, is going to land and. Uh, Varen going to actually trinket that it looks like, or maybe it was dispelled, but Kaluminati going to trinket his hex, so uh, two hexes do come out. Um, one was decursed and one was just trinketed. Uh, we are going to see Varen though getting a little bit aggressive here. Once again, the CS is going to come out on Zero the Hero. Mystic fully dotted up. Prof set uh, in some trouble. DP goes out on him. Shadow Fiend is popped as well. Does he even have a block? He's so split from his team, he's just kind of LOSing his healer right now. Now going to blink out over uh, to Zero the Hero, but he's, he's Shadow Feared. He's just been feared as well. The Poly is going to be spammed out here on a Varen. Varen uh, gets dispelled out of the first one. The second one, he's going to have to sit, and now Kaluminati going to be Poly. Uh, the Silence does come out as well, but looks like that may have been grounded. I don't see it up on anyone. Uh, and Namax now going to be the target here. That is uh, Varen on the Warlock. The Capstone looks like it will perhaps land on him. No, he's going to kill it off last second. Saifi now being dropped down by Kaluminati, uh, trying to get something going there. Uh, Zero the Hero, you know, pretty low on mana, but uh, he has been maintaining at that at that low mana for quite some time. Hex going to come out on Kaluminati. Hex onto Varen. They're trying to make a swap here over onto Mohumer. Uh, and he's just going to gate out on the Deep Freeze. Uh, so a really nice shot by him there. Uh, he's going to be able to escape and take nothing really in that deep freeze at all. So that has been completely wasted. Uh, Muhomer now pushing back out, trying to heal up Kaluminati. Um, both teams, you know, looking like they have stabilized a little bit. But Prophet in some trouble here, down to 30% HP. Uh, he catches the DP. He's going to have to maybe uh, blink over to the other pillar. He always seems to be <laughs> on the opposite pillar from his healer. But there's the Demon Soul is up here uh, for Varant. He's going to be put into the Sheep Zero, the hero now. MCS, Siphine comes out from Kaluminati. Uh, and the Shaman team is just kind of turtling pretty hard at this point. But the Shadow Fear comes in there onto Zero the Hero. They can make a swap onto him. Uh, he's fully dotted up by both players. And uh, DP is going to come out here once again. It looks like it was used, but I think it was grounded again. Uh, that has got to be so annoying uh, for Kaluminati. And they're going to go onto the gateway. They're trying to take it out. It's down to 20% HP, so maybe they're going to try to tunnel this Warlock uh, once they kill off this gateway. It does catch a heal, though, uh, from Mu Homer. And uh, they are on top of that. They're, they have noticed. So uh, Zero the Hero down to 17% mana. Mu Homer is at full mana right now. Silence comes out on Prophet. He's going to trigger that. He's trying to get out of there. He pops uh, the orb. They're going hard on the Mu Homer. He's in the deep freeze. He's not going to be able to have his trinket. MCS is up there. The offensive hex comes out as well. Stoneform, Battlemaster, Hellstone used again. 
Uh, all three of those cooldowns are going to be stacked, but uh, it's going to allow him to live. And the, the DP, you know, was used on Zero the Hero there. You can see that the Insanities were being channeled out on him by Kaluminati, and he is zero mana right now. He's so, so low. He's got to get out of there. He's going for the drink right now, and they need to keep them away. Uh, they need to push out and stop them from getting in here, but they're, they're not going to be able to. So he does get stood up. The Rain of Fire comes in there from Varen. And uh, he's going to get back a tiny bit of mana, but is it really enough to survive at this point? Mystic, uh, Zero the Hero, and Profset all down to about 30-40% HP. Profset trying to run out of there. They're trying to finish off the Gateway. It's down to 10% HP. Uh, the Gateway is going to be able to go down here, uh, it looks like. Uh, as long as they do, just get that last attack in. I mean, they should finish it off. Frostbolt going to come in, and yep, there goes that Gateway. So uh, that is now dead, but Zero the Hero is in the Silence. Healing Tide did go down preemptively, so he's going to be okay. Uh, he did pop that stone form there as well, and he had to use the trinket. So, um, Muhomer are going to be put into the hex. He's going to sit through that, though. Kaluminati in a little bit of trouble. He is Oom, um, uh, and the Deep Freeze is going to be able to force that to spur, so they did get that, but, I mean, he needed the mana anyway. Varen, though, looking like he's in some trouble. He's taking a lot of burst right now. MCS comes out on Muhomer, and will Varen just go down? All healing cooldowns and shield wall, a pet sack, everything used at once there by Varen. He got down about 10%. Got completely spiked down by Mystic there. Uh, Mystic you know, was in the Ascendance, so uh, that is what they can do, and Kaluminati in some trouble, he has no Disperse, Ellie Blast comes in, uh, Muhomer gonna be sheeped on his Trinket, Deep Freeze comes in on Kaluminati, he's gonna have to Trinket that, uh, and he got so, so low there, USA, 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 almost turning it around and getting the kill there, uh, you know, just instantly bursting down player after player, there's so much damage coming out of Mystic, but Profset forced back into that block, and we can see Monetide was used there, once again by Zero the Hero, so he has just been maintaining at such low mana forever, and move homer without a trinket now can they get something set up here still notice first available for Kaluminati. Varen in trouble though he's at 40 percent hp uh, he already used his port but his port was not in a good spot the orb comes out deep freeze on move homer for cc do they have the deep damage coming in on it on Varen? it looks like they may he's down at 30 percent shatter gonna come in there 20 percent 10 percent Varen gonna go down and usa 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 uh looking like they're gonna take game one here no way Kaluminati's gonna be able to get a kill and that has got to be frustrating for Mushroom Company, they were dominating start to finish on mana. Uh, you know, Zero the Hero was oom um basically the whole game. Uh, and if you look at the damage, I mean, Varen dominating the damage meters there, but it doesn't matter, man. It's just the, the burst kills that matter. And USA, 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 gonna turtle it out. Uh, wait till they have the proper cooldowns. They can, they can pro set up that proper burst. And they were just looking like they were getting crushed the whole game. And then they finally got something going. They got the CC out. They forced disperse. And then they almost instantly killed the warlock. Forced all cooldowns on him. Went back to the priest. Forced trinket from sh on shaman and priest. And then they were able to kill off the warlock. Just uh, it seemed like they finally got stuff clicking, and they, they just got everything in a row and able to take him down. Um, so, yips, uh, yep. did you right. message him? Are it's you good. in the group? Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, it definitely looked like a really good game from the Shadow play up until the end there. Like, yeah. I thought that they were kind of dominating, but one thing like, I noticed about the LA Shaman team that they maybe could do a little better is decurse a lot more. Yeah. That's such a good thing to do. Like, I never really noticed DPS doing that much, and it really helps with the healer if you're constantly taking away Agony and the Curse of Tongues. Yeah, it really makes, a, makes a big difference good. for sure. Yeah, but I also think the Shadow play should have re-put down their gateway. There's no reason not to when you're in that position. Yeah, I agree. It's something you always need to do. I mean, if the double shaman team wanted to really push in and, and commit to harassing that warlock, you might not have been able to get it because two shocks yeah, and, and CS shocks and everything. But but at the same yeah. time, doing that would have forced the rest of shaman to be aggressive, and the rest of shaman could not be uh, really afford to be aggressive when he was oom and low HP. So uh, I think even just going for the gateway may have actually baited the rest of shaman into coming in and trying to get that the interrupt on the gateway. And then if he does that, you know, you get him a Shadow Fury into a Fear, into a Silence, and you may be able to just finish him off. So, um, yeah. I definitely agree that that would be a, a great choice uh, to go for. Um, but anyway, it is going to be a 1-0 lead for USA, USA, USA. And I have to say, they really, you know, they did nothing pretty much the whole game, and then they seemed like they just got everything clicking at the end. So well, that's the power of Ali Shaman Mage, really. Yeah. The amount of damage you have is actually insane whenever you orb, and Ali Shaman gets a couple of burst procs. Yeah, it is. It's pretty wild, man. So... I mean, the other thing to keep in mind is maybe they just kind of figured out the, the proper strategy. Maybe they just figured out what they actually needed to do there at the end because yeah. it was like, it wasn't even like it was just one random burst. It was um, it was a, a, a number of things, man. So I, I think it's it's definitely something that um, yeah, they, they could, they could repeat. Yeah. Yeah. Have to see. But also, map pick could make a big difference. I know Shadow plays stronger on different maps against certain things. Have to see. Yep. Should be a good game. I also think that the Elishon team should be taking more advantage of like only one D curse. They do two hexes at once, or even hex the shaman a bunch. They yeah. Two hexes against the shadow play. It's really strong. 
But it could definitely be very hard for the Shadow Play to like get a kill on a double shaman team if they're turtling like that. Yeah, yeah, it can, it can be tough. I mean, because uh, I remember playing against Shadow Play a bunch and like my team we got twenty five percent, but I still feel like we're not gonna die as long as we're behind a pillar and just living. Yeah, yeah, it is true. I mean, I think that at the same time, you kind of just have to. Uh, you have to choose a time to really just kind of like YOLO. You just fucking have to charge in, man, and go for it because it is hard to finish people off when they're when they're um and you can't you can't like you can't play the same way uh, that you like that you did to get the um that you have to play to finish them off. If that makes sense, it's like you yeah. play you play one way to get them to get the um and then once you have the um you just have to run in like you have to just. Yeah. Like I don't even care anymore. You have to use all your offensive cooldowns. Your shaman has to not care about mana anymore. Run in and just press purge the whole game, and just like you just run in, and you stack on top of them, and you just have to go for a kill. Cause you actually, you're right. You can't get a you can't get a kill just by harassing them if they're being, uh, you know, behind the pillar with double healing stream and, and you know decurses and all that stuff. Or versus many teams, they have palms bouncing back there and everything. So you have to actually commit to going for that kill and really just run in and go for it. And I think that the rest of shaman is the right guy. To go for it on um you know when when he is you know that kind of rotting a lot like that and getting low on mana and really let's be honest they made two swaps to the resto shaman both times they got trinket battlemaster hellstone stone form uh that's a lot of yeah. cooldowns used on a swap but they never were able to get back to him uh, for it and you know it's easier said than done to make those swaps to him but i think you know once once they're um you just have to commit to it you have to go for it and um and see what you can get done yeah, I agree. As long as you're shut up, play like your rest shaman like has trinket and stuff. Once you push in, like you're pretty much safe for a while until that trinket's gone. Yeah. So you should just use this like trinket spear like in healing pack. Because I mean, if you do, if you attempt this fail, you can always just resort to pulling back and continue your harass play until you're ready to go again. Yeah, exactly. And, and I mean, the other thing to keep in mind is, um, you know, Moo Homer did an, an amazing job, you know, maintaining a high mana. He was basically full mana the whole game, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but once, once again, once you're at that point where you're, you're just you know you're winning the game and they're way behind in their oom um, that and you need to start purging you need to stop caring about your mana and just press purge every global um and just you know get every buff off you know remove those temporal shields remove those riptides remove those earth shields um yeah. you know remove everything just you need to purge 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 and help your team get a kill um because you know maintaining your high mana is awesome but who cares if you have 100 percent mana when your team loses you know like yeah exactly Definitely, yeah. It would be nice to see uh, him go more offensive this game. That'd be a great thing to do. Yep. Uh, like just for actually running and spam purge on that mage is huge. Like especially if you can get the temporal off before the yeah. healing stacks up too high. Like yep. you can just go down very yeah. quickly. It makes a huge difference. So it's, I mean, I'm not saying he should do that the whole game because he, he can oom um and they can lose like that. But you know, once you have that, that you've you've secured that big advantage, you have to uh, you have to go for it. So anyway. Uh, we are going to be getting this game started, this match point, uh, in the first best of three for USA, USA, USA. This is our first series of the day, first best of three of the day. Uh, Shadow play looks strong from Mushroom Company, but they could not finish off the triple USA, that America pride coming through. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start this countdown here for you guys. We'll, s we'll find out, can the Shadow play battle back? I like their map pick. Uh, this is a map that is very hard to turtle on, and... I think it's going to be tough for Zero the Hero to, to maintain at low man on this one. Yeah, definitely. Like, on runes, this is really no hope once you get into that tomb, especially versus Shadow Play. They can just run in on you, spam dot, and get triple house the entire time, and triple shot it for you. It's going to be very rough. Start with a full Papalia Sheep on Homer, and it's already reversed down really low. Meaning, dipping down about 50%, he had to get out of that deep freeze and use his health stone, so he's dipping down really low, but I think he'll be just okay. Homer hasn't used his trinket yet, so he's looking fine, but on the other side, we already see full Demon Soul dots onto this entire. Ellie Shaman, Resto Shaman, Mage team. So this is really tough for the Mage to pop Temporal. Using a bunch of his cooldowns early, trying to get pressure out onto this team. But I think they should honestly just be trying to turtle with that Demon Soul, try to decrease themselves and get a sweet dots as other they can. And then try to go hard. But we see Moo Homer dipping around 50%. Uses his deep freeze on him. He has to trinket that, pop his Battle Master Hell Stone. He's running away. He's at 20% into next time. 10%. He might set his Spirit Link here. Healing Tide goes down. Riptide gates out of there. He'll probably be just fine. In a full hex, he can't break that. It's. It's a oh, damage break him. Oh, he almost got shocked on that heal. It just came in a split second too late there from Mystic, and he may have actually gotten killed there. That was actually some incredible burst coming in on Moo Homer. Uh, dipping down so low, they force out the trinket. They've gotten a lot of cooldowns there, so I want to see Triple USA here go back to the Shaman. They really need to make that swap early before he gets his cooldowns back. They can get a full deep freeze, get that set up. You know, double hex on Varant and Kaluminati. Go to the Shaman. I think they can secure a kill, but they're going to swap it over on a Varant. Varant down to 20% HP. His pet sack breaks instantly. 10% HP. He's in a lot of trouble here. Deep freeze on a Moo Homer for CC. He's going to force out the Dark Regen and the Hellstone. Now here comes the swap on a Moo Homer. He's going to have to get out of there. 
Uh, he's in some trouble with the ice block force out on Profset. May keep him alive for now. 20% HP on Muhomer. He's going to have to NS. He gates out of there. The Nova coming in a split second too late to bug out that gateway. There's the Exxon Illuminati. Can Muhomer get back into security cursed? He does. Good job by him. Uh, he's at 75% HP, but he's in an awkward spot right now. The orb comes out, uh, and Muhomer looking like he's still going to be the target here. Profset chasing after him. Mystic trying to get involved as well. They have the double purges coming out. Deep Freeze goes down. 40% HP, 20% HP. He gets life gripped out of there. Nice life grip, but will it be enough? 10% HP, 4% HP. He catches the shield. He catches the palm. Is he going to survive? It looks like he will. Such good play there from Kaluminati. The grip and the double heal coming in, barely keeping his shaman alive. Fantastic stuff from Kaluminati, and that's the only reason they're alive. But there's the triple shadow fairy coming in. Mystic looks like he. He could be in some trouble. Yeah, great play coming out of this uh, shadow play team and keep the rest of the shot alive at 4%, but on the other hand, the entire time, props that was forced into that ice block and their time team was dipping, but there's currently no dots up in the shadow play. They really need to get that going. They're trying to slay the water alley. I guess they're just trying to catch up, get their shaman back, hit the trinkets, almost back up their plug and a turtle until that's up, and then maybe try to go on for a push on the kill again. I definitely think the shadow play should be targeting this rest of shaman a whole lot more. It forces the other team to play more defensive, which is kind of what you want them to do, so they're not able to swap on their shaman as much. Make them force like deep freezes defensively and stuff, and your shaman will be able to play more offensive and get kills. Here comes the triple shadow fury. We see a DP going out into Mystic, dipping down to about 60%, but no real trouble. There's no warlock dots out on anyone. They really need to get those dots rolling. Demon Soul is up, and it hasn't been released effective. This is four dots in the mage. Deep freeze comes out onto uh, the warlock. And Shaman's put into a full. Actually, he does have to drink at that. Aura Mastery coming out. 14% on Amex, dipping down really about 33%. Might just see a link. No, he seems to be just fine with that Aura Mastery. Not using too many cooldowns. 43%. 36% into a Nova. Might Shadow Big come in. And uh, he has to pop his uh, Warlock Shield Wall and he's into a ring. Might want to see him get up here. Mystic on the other hand, dipping down 23%, 19%. Might have to see a link come up from Carbs here. Both of the teams dipping so low, and I'm not really sure what they're going to be able to do here to kind of catch himself back out. Carbs is running completely out of mana. He has to kind of go back and pull, pull for a drink, but I'm not sure if the into like that little cubby is the best place for this double shaman team to go. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to say, but at Zero the Hero, they're the ones controlling the tomb, so as a result, he could pull back and get a drink in his cubby if he wants, because his tomb is owning the tomb right now. Um, and, I mean, he is going to go for that drink. He does have the mana tied down, back up to 30% mana, so they're actually tied on mana now, uh, you know, uh, and it's looking very different than the last game. This is a different USA. Uh, they're looking so, so strong. The deep freeze is going to be a uh, tricky to there, and it's going to be the silent on Zero the Hero. They're going to try to force out the block on props that Will they get it? It looks like they may. He's down to 20% HP, 10% HP. Going to have to block there behind the pillar as too much shot damage was coming in there. Mystic going to throw the knockback. He did land the healing surge on a prof set as well. He's going to be going out now. Uh, Kaluminati has no trinket. Muhomer with no trinket as well. I want to see this USA team pushing in there, uh, going for some more you know, more aggressiveness onto this Wrestle Shaman because that's where they've gotten their success so far. Uh, Kaluminati, you know, he, he used his trinket, but he still has his disperse. Uh, Varen, you know, it doesn't have a shield wall, but he does have pet sack, and his healing cooldowns are going to be back up for him as well. Shadow Fury coming in there for both players. Uh, Namex, that is Varant, just going to gate out of there. Uh, we see Sean Wall was actually forced on Mystic a bit preemptively, I have to say. So uh, maybe this Ellie Shaman could be in a little bit of trouble if they go back to him. Um, but USA, 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 just kind of turtling it out. Playing defensively here. Looking to try to set something up. Demon Soul going to be popped on Varant. Looks like he's going to be the target. They're going to try to push him back. Uh, Deep Freeze perhaps going to come in. No, full hex on a Muhomer. MCS on a Varant. Varant in some trouble here. Deep Freeze comes in off that. Oh my god, that pet's like broken in less than a global. He's down at 30% HP, 20% HP. Gets the shield, catches uh, the Riptide. But is that going to be enough? Healing cooldowns come out. Everything having to be used there by Varant to stay alive. He's got nothing left now. Uh, really zero left at all. He has his trinket, but I mean, he's 20% HP. He's just getting killed through his healing cooldowns. Healing time going to be forced. And oh my god, the damage coming out from USA, USA, USA. It's just insane. They're almost killing Namax through all of his cooldowns. Yeah, every single cooldown pop from Namax and also a healing tide, so that's huge for us to be able to go through that. But they still do have his trinket spirit link, so that's going to be kind of a saving grace at the end if they really do need that. On the other hand, Mystic and the, uh, the other shaman from the team, is they're actually stacking their tremor pretty much every time, so if they can get like a triple howl or something out of that, like the priest comes in and it's like it appears with both tremors being used, then it could be really bad. They use it correctly there, so it's good by them. But Muhomer down the other hand, dipping down to 30%. We can see the error comes on these Aura Master heals. He uses his Hellstone down to 18%, 20%. I think he'll just be okay. Out comes the Spirit Link. Every, all three members of the Shadow Play able to get into that Spirit Link, so their Hellstone are all going to be around 60%, so they'll be fine for a little bit. But on the other hand, there's no Spirit Link left for the Warlock, and he has no cooldowns. I'd really love to see him go back to that Warlock, because the cooldowns are so long, but if you let them come out, it could be bad. This first being forced out onto the Shadow Priest, and the Shadow Play looks like they're in really big trouble. The Ali Shaman team pushing in on them now. We can see if they get kill 10% on Muhomer. Debbie down, he just dies goes down, that's what they really needed to do. Yeah, the Fulminate came out there. It looked like for a second he may have been able to survive as he used his trinket, but Fulminate coming out, uh, dipping him down, and Triple USA here, just too strong for the Shadow Play. Mushroom Company, uh, unable to take it. You know, they, they looked good at points, but uh, the Runes pick kind of looked like it backfired on them. You know, it was, it was really uh, USA, USA, USA that set the pace here. 
And um, I have to say, pretty awesome stuff, man. I mean, yeah, definitely, but I also feel like the Shadow Play didn't attack the Shaman nearly enough. Like, if the Shadow Priest was harassing that Shaman the entire game, I'm pretty sure they would have done a lot better, because the LA Shaman team was kind of allowed to do what they wanted the entire game. They weren't really being stopped. Like, every deep freeze was kind of going to the turret they wanted. They weren't having to use anything like that defensively, and when that happens, it just it gets it's really tough for them, I think. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Um, you know, uh, at the same time, it is it can be tough to get aggressive against against a team that, that's putting out that much burst. I mean, they were they were forcing out so many cooldowns every time they pushed in on that shaman. So I feel like they need to try to get some more CC out before they go for it. But with triple D curse, hex is doing nothing for the shadow play, and uh, I don't yeah, know. It looked it's it looked difficult. yeah, you know, it looked a little I bit rough. I thought it would be rough. Yeah, yeah, double shaman, I'm sure, is very rough for shadow play. Triple D any, curse, any double caster. Yeah. yeah, triple D curse and and double tremor. <laughs> so all your